Does anyone know of an example of a charity that is not monetary, but it's still called a charity? Example? A smile. Mashallah. A smile. You smile, it's a charity. Come on, guys. Even if you don't have teeth, smile. It's okay. The most genuine of smiles are the old people who don't even have teeth and the old man is busy smiling at you, shy, that he, you, there's no more teeth left. That's genuine, it's from the heart. You begin to smile and you might even shed a tear to say, look at this uncle here smiling at me, mashallah, embarrassed about not having teeth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us, not just with good teeth, but with a brilliant smile. And you know what? Use it often. Use it often. Smile at people. It is more valuable than money that you give others. I've seen people give beggars by throwing the wealth at them. Trust me, you're losing the essence of the giving. You give with dignity because you're a Muslim. You give thanking the Almighty that he has given you an opportunity to give. Amazing. That's a true Muslim. A true Muslim will thank the Almighty, Oh Allah, I thank you for giving me an opportunity that the wealth you gave me was used in such a good cause. Because if Allah does not want your wealth, you won't use it in a good way. You will pledge to give the mosque or the masjid and you won't end up giving because Allah doesn't want your money there. It can happen. It has happened and it does happen. So thank Allah. Ask Allah to show you the good causes. And then when you give, Give with dignity and respect. Respect that person. There is a sheikh who, from Kuwait who made mention of a story of a Kuwaiti who before the oil was discovered was working in India for an Indian family because Kuwait was a poor nation prior to oil. And he says oil was discovered and they called their citizens back and this man came back to Kuwait and sometime later they made so much of money that they decided to call the son of the person whom this man used to work for to come to the Gulf and to work. And when he came, the old man tells his son, the Kuwaiti old man tells his son, he says, I want you to treat this young boy with utmost respect and kindness. He says, yeah, well, obviously I will. Why are you specifying this particular boy among others? So he says, Wallahi, when I worked for his father, they maltreated me, they abused me, they really did not treat me well. So look how Allah has turned the tables that today it's the other way around. I want you to treat him so well that the tables do not turn. You understand what he is saying? Unfortunately, man is such when you have, you tend to think that you are justified in your wickedness. That's man. When you have and you have, whether it is power, position, wealth, good looks as well at times is a test from Allah. As Allah has bestowed, recognize the blessing, understand its temporary nature. No matter how good looking you are, trust me, a day will come when the wrinkle will appear, whether you like it or not, subhanallah. You have to face it. It's temporary. It was there for a while. When you have wealth, a day will come when something your wealth will not be able to buy will be in front of you and you are stuck. It can happen. Or if you have wealth, a day may come when it goes. How many have struggled and suffered? You've seen rags to riches and riches to rags. We've seen both. Be kind while you can. For indeed, it is not only contagious, but it comes back with a greater reward. Kindness breeds much more kindness and it actually builds community and society and makes you feel like you want to be a part of the community. People don't want to mix, not even with their family members nowadays. Why? Because everyone treats everyone else roughly. But if we are kind, compassionate, we think about someone else's situation before we even open our mouths. Kindness is not just monetary. I've explained to you, it is also that which is priceless without money, like a smile. 
also a good word. For example, if you were to think before you spoke to someone, if you were to empower them, if you were to say something good to someone, it is also a charity. That is also kindness. Be kind in the way you communicate with one another. Show that you care and you will change society and community. Show that you care. Ask people, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. How are you? Is everything okay? How's the family? MashaAllah. And you know what?